Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Go. And in today's video, we're gonna show you how to install the 9 Watt Max rear suspension. In part one, we're gonna show you how to take off the rear wheel. And in part two, we're gonna put the suspension on and the rear wheel on as well. Let's get started. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and start installing the rear suspension on this. To do so, we are going to have to take off the undercover to get to the wires for the motor and also to take off the fender as well. So these are Torx security screws. Just gonna loosen them off. If you're not sure, make sure you take photos of absolutely everything so that you know which bit goes where. This would probably be the perfect time to inspect your scooter components as well. Make sure that your bearings and your scooter are good and that everything is clean. What do you think? Should we upgrade the, uh, the base plate to an aluminium one or an aluminium cover? Let me know what you think down in the comments. And there we go, the base plate is off. Right, now we want to make sure that we keep everything as safe as we possibly can and together. It's going to go just under there. Right, now we have that open. What we're going to do prior to making sure that all these are unclipped, we're just going to take this connector down here, which is, I believe, the XE60 or XE90 clip, and we're just going to unplug this clip, this is to stop the battery having any influence. So it is taped on. There we go. And now we're gonna wait about 30 seconds just for it to all dissipate. Okay, now we've waited for the capacitors and things like that to dissipate, hopefully. Um, what we're gonna do is just make sure that we follow this wire here, which is your motor wire, so the big thick one. And my one is attached just there. So I need to go ahead and unclip that. Being careful not to the wires. So you can pull that out, just keep it safe there. And then we can follow these wires. So all we're wanting to do is follow the wires and make sure that we unplug them all. You can't get this wrong. Blue to blue, yellow to yellow, brown to brown. And they're just clipped in like so. Okay, now we have one wire that's in the control box here. And we're just gonna unscrew the control box. And this is a H3 hex key. Be very careful not to strip the screws in there as it is a bit tight. You can see the bottom one is a bit more trickier to get to because there's less clearance. I'm just going to gently pull out the control board. We don't want to be unplugging everything here, otherwise it's just going to get confusing. So we're just going to find that wire that comes from the motor. It's the black one. And 
it's got a little clip on it. If you look, so just gently unclip it. As you can see there, you just press that down and pull it out. So we're going to push the control board back into the time being. And now the motor's undone. Okay, so I know this is a bit more work than I was hoping than before, but what we're going to do is we're just going to screw the top one back in a little bit so that it's secure and in there for me. There, out the way. I don't want wires going everywhere. Okay, so now I want to get the uh, the light out, the, the cable for the light. So there is like a t clip that you clip this way and bring out, but because of the space, it's a little bit more difficult. There we go. Scooter back up, and now we can go ahead and take the fender off. So I've already previously had this back from last time. H3 again. There we go, and that comes away, and we can clean that up as well while we're at it. And we need to take these out to put the light in at a later date. Okay, so now what we want to do is take off each side of these things. And to do that, if you want to save your stickers, make sure you heat them up with a hairdryer or a heat gun just to soften the adhesive underneath. And then you can peel them back. Mine actually need replacing, so I bought some more. I'm just going to pull them away. It is a two and a half millimeter hex key that takes these bolts out. So those are for the fender. We want to make sure we keep everything together. While we're at it, we can actually inspect the tire here as well. Everything looks pretty good. A couple of wear marks, but that's to be expected. There we go, faced with the main nut for the wheel. I'm gonna do the other side and we'll be right back. Fantastic, so now we have the wheel open like so. What we're gonna do now is just make sure that we loosen off these and that this wire is pulled through as well as we're taking the wheel. So once these are completely off, you do have a couple of uh, lawyer, lawyer tabs uh, nice interesting fact the tabs that have the little extra tab to hold the wheel on called lawyer tabs somebody in the comments told me that thank you very much very handy knowledge to know and then we're gonna pull the wire out with the wheel so I believe that these are either a 18 or a 19 millimeter bolt them off fantastic do the rest by hand there you go there's the there's the lawyer tab as you can see as another little tab to hold the wheel on You just got to be very careful here when you're pulling the wires through. You don't want to be tugging on the wires. And we can use something to hold hold the weight of the wheel. Oh, should we go ahead and pull the rest through? There we go. One motor out, and it does weigh quite a bit. 